this is a hummingbird and butterfly habitat garden that was uh, the brainchild, so to speak, of two students, Jeff Wagner in the background and Chris Ebert, as part of a service learning project in my ecology class. I've been doing um, gardening learning projects in the Metro Parks and with Lorain County Head Start, and they really wanted to do something right here on campus. It just so happened that the Green Campus Task Force was getting going at the time where we would really start to implement this garden. The Green Campus Task Force uh, is a group that includes staff, faculty, and students, and we're all about trying to green up the campus in many different ways. I am the chair of the subcommittee for gardening, composting, and landscape. And so this is our first big project. Most of the other volunteers that you see are students that got involved just by seeing us digging, uh, students of mine from environmental monitoring and ecology. We have a little tool shed thanks to the engineering uh, right, right there by PC Campana Building. They donated that to us for about a year at least. And biology funded the project and service learning contributed some money as well. Uh, we've got a lot of diversity here. We've got a witch hazel, which is going to bloom in the wintertime. Uh, we have many, mostly perennials and shrubs, a few self-seeding annuals, and some of the annuals that people donated just for the, the uh, planting uh, this spring. So it's going to grow in uh, over the next you know, many years. It's going to be a teaching tool. Uh, for years to come as well as a, a place to just sit down and enjoy yourself. We've got a little stone path going through the middle there. Uh, so come by and, and watch it grow.